All right, awesome. So are you excited to be learning about knots today? Yeah. Yeah, sure. all right. Okay, so today's objective is to learn how to tie the following knots. The figure eight knot, the reef knot, the bowline, and then the round turn for two half hitches. And then you guys after the end of the lesson should be able to uh, as well describe their use. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just demonstrating these knots for you. And then I'm going to give you some rope up here, and then you will practice them. Then we will have a competition to see who can tie it fastest. Yeah, so there are time requirements, so you guys should have no problem making those after learning them. And then we are going to have a discussion on the uses of each of these knots as well at the end. Okay, the next knot that we will be learning is um, tying the is the reef knot for tying the ends of two, for tying two rope, pieces of rope together. Okay, so to tie this knot, let's begin with the two ends. You take, you say, okay, this is the rope end, which I'm going to be doing stuff with. You take it, put it over top of the second rope, cross under, then you take the same end, put it over top of the other rope, cross under again, when you pull it together, it should look like this, which so you can see it locks like that. So again, this is the end I'm going to be doing, moving over top, so give this rope here, put it over top, put it underneath, same end again, different side, just take it like this, put it over top of this rope, under, pull down, okay. So maybe we'll just do that and yeah, we can all practice with this rope. Um, that's the best rope here. If you're having trouble with that rope, then you can use that after Lloyd is done. So the key point is to make sure that you use the same end to put it, and that you're always putting it either, always putting it over top. Yeah, like that. So you've got that down. Um, Like that, Josh. So did you see what you did wrong the first time? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, like that, okay. Um, then we can have the competition again. So what do you think the use of this is, of this knot is? So you have two pieces of rope. Put them together? Putting two yeah. pieces of rope together, <laughs> perfect. Um, do you think that it will work if you're trying to put two pieces of rope of different sizes together? Yes. Yeah. Here, let's try that. So take one end of this rope, tie it to yeah the small end, and then we'll see how strong it is. Oh, these are about the same size, though, aren't they? It probably yeah, we'll work see. Work as well. Yeah, yeah. It'll still work. Right. Well, we can see boy, the knot you're tying will be example. So then, let's see. Hold the hold on to one end, boy. Hold on to the blue end or that end, and then pull. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, this. Yeah, it does work. Not as well as the sheep's been not, though. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to demonstrate that that doesn't work for different size pieces of rope. Um, but there's another knot, which you'll have to stick around and do Wexel 2 to learn, I think, called the sheep's bend. Um, and that's, yeah, see, it's slid off there. Oh, that's so the sheep's bend overcomes that problem, but we won't learn that today. Um, OK, so then the third lot, knot, is the bowline knot. Um, this is the most complicated knot which we're going to be learning. Um, so pretty much, again, you make a loop like this. Make sure that the rope is over top. So you have all this other rope over here. Yeah, you can be doing this as I speak. So make a loop. Your other rope is going down like that. Then you take your end, put it through this hole put it around this rope down there. You want to, Josh, you want to leave, make sure that you have enough rope for a loop there, and then bring it around like this, pull together like this, and then you have a loop. So that's good, Josh, except that you need to leave, make sure that you have a loop in there. Okay, okay so, yeah. All right, this, this rope isn't as nice. Yeah, 
And then there's your yeah, that's perfect. It's supposed to look like and then that. tighten it. I see. Yeah, if this is right. It's a, so another key point. Um, for the last part, Lloyd, you didn't bring it over top of this rope. You just put it underneath. So to correct that knot, you just take it, put it down like this. Oh, okay. Okay, so you just brought it around. You have to make sure it comes up and down. Um, there is a, I guess, I guess new knot, new new knot on it for remembering it. So you have a, you have the hole, and this is a rabbit hole. And then you have the tree, so you have the rabbit come out of the hole, run around the tree, and then go back down into the hole. And that should um, help you remember to uh, run out of the tree. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. It's not also called the life jacket man. Life jacket man. Possibly. Okay, but Shane, were you able to? No, so. Okay. So you start to have a lot of So you make a loop. Okay, good. I want to leave a bit more room. Okay, got it. Um, I pulled it like this as well. Pull this in your left hand. Okay. okay. So then you take that rope. The rabbit comes up out of the hole, runs around the tree, and then back down. Uh, um, except the thing is, this piece of rope should be on the back. Sorry. So to make the loop again, and then the loop should be like this. Okay. And then. Tie the knot up around, we'll go this way, okay. and then back down, and then pull it. And make sure you hold on to this because this is your loop. That's what you want. Okay, and there. So you have 10 seconds to tie it. I guess if you want to do right, it individually or all at once. Well, I don't want to do it with this group. Okay, so, so Josh, do you want to? Let's take a look at that. Hmm, okay. Okay, make sure that you have one loop like that. Okay. So then you start bring it up around and down. There. You tied it and then you just pull. Uh, how, how should you best tighten it? To tighten it, you grab these two, so your loop and then the end, and then you just pull that in this. And oh, okay. Tighten like that. So you could tie that. Okay, we'll start. Okay, ready, go. Up, round, and then back down. And then tighten it. Perfect. 6.97 seconds. Is that impressive? Impressive. Okay. So okay. then we change. Yeah, you start with not like that. I'd leave more room for your loop. Okay. I could, yeah, okay, so then you know, remember out, around, and then down. Okay. Ready, you go. And then you tighten it like that. So that was good. Um, what? It's just a small thing that you want the rope to come around the other way. Uh, so if you, like this. Uh, so if your loop is over here, you want the end to finish on away from the okay. loop, like that. But yeah, do you want to do that one more time? I'll try it, yeah. Okay. So if your loop like that. And then you're going to be making another loop here, and then, okay, put it through, and then, or that's a side away from the knot, so, or the loop, yeah, so then, round it back in, and then to tighten it, you just grab these two pieces and pull there, okay, perfect, okay, so then Lloyd, you tighten that rope. Ready, go. That didn't work, sorry. Okay, so just two key points. You want to hold on to the loop as you're tying it, 
is you don't want that to collapse as you're tightening the rope. And then as well, see how you came out and went this side in and then back in. You want to go on the side close, so here's your loop here. You want the rope to go around this on the side close to the loop, then come in, finish. See how that's away from the loop? Yep. Things like that. If you do it the other way, then it still works. Like that's still a bowling, except then it's more awkward. So if you want to try that one more time, trying to beat Josh's time of just under seven seconds. Good, so you have to lose. Okay. Ready, set, go. So if you can tighten it, it's 5.57. Oh. Alright, okay. So the oh, okay, yeah, so we'll have a discussion of the uses of it. Um, what do you think the uses of a loop are? Around tightening around something. Sure. Yeah. Like um yeah. Like a pier maybe it's like as it goes to the pier is the water away sort of thing. Yeah. Um the one problem with that is the loop you create can't be looped around something? No it can. Like I can tie this around here. Um, the one thing, oh, yeah. you wouldn't want to tie your boat off with this because, as you can imagine, it can get really tight. Yeah, if you have your boat just rock pulling against the dock, then it'll become tighter. So the next knot we learn is a good knot for tying your boat off the half hitch. Um, specifically in the sailboat, for tying it onto sails, so you have like the small eye of the sail, then you feed it through, tie it off, pull the sail up, oh, okay. um, as well as so making it a lot of stress. Yeah. Play when you want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so the last knot involves tying it around something, so we'll use our chairs here. So it is called the round turn and two half hitches. So the first part is a round turn, so you take it, wrap it around something, make sure that you wrap it around so that there's always at least one piece of rope around there. As you can see, sometimes there's two. Then the two half hitches. You take your end, you just wrap it around the rope like that once, one half hitch, twice, another half hitch. Oh. Okay, so you want me to demonstrate that one more time? Sure. Okay, so you take your rope, you wrap it around, that's not enough, one more time, there, there's always a rope around there, then you just take your rope here, Wrap it around, under, pull up, then again, pull up again. And it doesn't matter which way, whether you come up and around or what, you just need to make sure that it comes around. Twice. Yeah. A direction. Yeah. So here. And then. Yeah. yeah. Good. So that's a round turn. And then the half inches. Beautiful. One hit, half pitch. Two. two. Perfect. Shane's got it. So is this for around, around the Josh has got it. Lloyd has got it. Yeah, that's for tying your boat up around a pier or something, because as you can see, because you've got it wrapped around so many times, you're not actually tightening this oh. knot. It's just going into these turns, making that a bit tighter, but then at the end, just take it off like that. Okay, so. Beautiful job. Um, so we'll have the, boy, you got that, right? Yeah, okay. So now we'll have the competition. Three, two, one, go. the end.